Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be teaching you the UI segment and control. Um, I'm just going to be showing you um, a basic, um, um, basic, just a test of it, just a basic way of doing it. Uh, so you get a basic knowledge of it. Uh, so you can build off of that and integrate it into your apps to make your apps a bit more awesome. Uh, you just got to be creative and you'll find a dozens of ways to integrate it into your apps. So let's get started. Let's create a new project. Let's select the view based. Let's call it con control. Let's call it segment control or whatever you'd like. Let's jump right in and go to the viewcontroller.h. After the UI view controller, always remember there's those brackets. I don't know, they used to always automatically put them in, but I don't know why. Oh well. So we're going to make an IB outlet for the UI segment and control. So we're going to go IB outlet, UI segment and control. We're going to call it control. Keep it simple. Uh, that's the best way to do things so you don't get all confused. And we're going to make an IB outlet for the UI label. We're going to call it label. So that's the outlet for a label. Now I'm just I'm showing you a simple demonstration. Of course, you can build off of this as I said. Um, let's go to let's um, do another IB outlet for a UI button and we'll call it button. So uh, you'll see where this comes into play. Uh, you'll understand it by uh, hopefully you'll understand it by the end of the um, video. So we have three, one for the UI segment and control, one for the UI label, and one for the button. And now we need an action that sends the action uh, to the segment and control telling it what to do. So we're going to go dash IB action, um, switch control, and ID send. So now let's jump into your dot into our dot m. Okay, um, let's copy this, and because uh, I'm lazy, you can write it out if you like. Go to your dot m, and put brackets after that. Now we're gonna start coding. We're gonna make um, an if statement first. I'm gonna explain this all as well as I possibly can. So we're going to go if control dot segment um, if control dot selected sorry segment index equals equals zero. Um, now we're going to put the action label dot text at equals at um, quotations quotations whatever you'd like to write. This is first. I'm going to explain this all. Do not worry. And we're going to do another if statement. So control roll dot selected segment index equals equals one label dot text equals at this is second uh, don't worry, hold on, almost done, and I'm going to explain all of this. And um, then we're going to do button dot hidden equals no. Button dot hidden equals yes. Um, so, okay. So we're saying if control dot selected segment index, so the uh, what segment you tap on is zero. So zero is the far is the far left side uh, segment piece and one is the one next to that. And if you would want to do more, you would just copy and paste this and add two. And two would be the one next to one. So it goes from left to right and so on and so forth. And here we're just saying that the label that uh, the the text of the label is going to be this is first, and the button, uh, the button that we're going to be made, making is hidden. 
is not hidden. So you can e e either equal that to no or equal that to yes. So in this case, it's not going to be hidden, hidden, and in this case, it is going to be hidden. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. We're just going to be do two segments, and um, for this time, but you can as um, you can add as many as you'd like. So let's hop into the um, interface builder here. Uh, let's drag a segmented control. Let's drag a label. And let's drag a round rect button. Let's make the label a little bit bigger. Delete the text. Okay. So here, let's go to File Zoner and go to the connections. Connect the button to the button the control to the control and the label to the label and the switch control the action um, to the segment control and we're going to do value change because the we're going to do change the value um so here you can you know change your look to bezel that's kind of cool you can also change the number, but we only did two, so we only need two. And um, let's just do first on this thing. So we're done, and we can run it. Actually, I want to show you. Uh, no, never mind. We can run it, and we'll see how this works. So let's go to second. You can, as you can see, the button is hidden, and it says this is second. First, the button shows, and it says this is first, and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a good understanding now. Uh, see you later. Bye.